Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. For turning up in large numbers even at short notice. Zambia is a Christian nation. Will you allow us to maybe share in a word of prayer? We can pray before we start. Thank you. Shall we pray? Father God, we thank you this morning for allowing us to share in this your new day, oh God, the 4th of July 2023. Thank you, Lord, for allowing the former first family and children to have and share a press statement with the press. I want to thank you, Lord, for this opportunity, for Lord, this rare opportunity. We only pray, our Lord, those who came will, will come safely and go back safely as they came. It's in Jesus' name we pray with us with a grateful heart. Amen. Thank you. Uh, the reason for this gathering is because the the former first family has been going through some challenging times for some time now, especially in the recent past. So for this reason, all the children of the former president would like to speak to this matter and share their feelings. A media, you will forgive us, due to the nature of the subject matter at hand, the family will just read the statement without taking questions from the media. We apologize sincerely for that position, but please understand us and um, agree with us that we accept this position. I'll take this opportunity to introduce the children represented here. On my far right there is Mrs. Agnes L. Smuko and the spouse of Mr. Smuko who seated right here next to me. The couple next day is the Katetes. We have Jasper Katete and the wife Cheso. Uh, we have Patrick Mansabea uh, with the wife in Honorable Priscilla Lungu Mansa. We have Mr. Willy Lungu, unfortunately the wife is not here with us. Standing next to me is my spouse, Madam Janet Lungu Banda. I'm Geoffrey Banda, the moderator this, this morning. Once again, we want to say thank you for turning up at uh, such short notice. Um, as stated earlier on, please allow us to just share our statement. And uh, without much ado, let me just call upon uh, Honorable Priscilla Lungumansa, who is going to represent the children of the former president in sharing this statement. The women welcome, Madam Priscilla. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my dear brother. Good morning, everyone. In the past year and a half, has proven to be hard times for our family. Our lives have revolved around family and constantly being invited to law enforcement agencies. We have endeavored to lead a quiet life after our father left office in August of 2021. We must hasten to say that we are not objectionable to the law enforcement agencies, making inquiries into any matter that we have constantly and consistently complied with the law enforcement agencies. Despite our compliance, it seems to us that it has become fashionable to demonize the Lungu family based on the unfounded allegations. The state has made it, has not made it any easier for us as they seem to play to the gallery in matters that relate to our family. Ordinarily, we expect to be the first ones to know as it relates to the matters involving any members of our family. However, we have learned of the recent lawsuits 
through news items published in tabloids and various social media platforms. We proceeded to engage our lawyers and to obtain necessary documents from the state, which attempts have met with difficulties. We have finally obtained the necessary documents and will proceed to respond appropriately. Our appeal to all of you is to allow us to defend ourselves in court. The dramatization of our circumstances by the state in the daily tabloids has only worked to demonize our father, who has diligently worked to serve this country and willingly handed over power to the incumbent. We have spent considerable time with our father and our mother who in all these difficult times have opted to remain silent. Sorry. Our father's resolve is to allow the law to take its course and we agree with his position. Whereas some of you may call our father different names, he remains a caring father to us and a loving husband to our mother. We wish to thank you all who have reached out to us and sympathized with us. Your encouragement has kept us going. In conclusion, our request is that we may not be tried in the media, but that we may be given justice in the courts. Thank you so much everyone for listening. May God bless you. Thank you. Once more, the media for turning up as entered earlier on. Uh, we want to say thank you for turning up the numbers. And, uh, as our position was, we will not take any questions from the media. They will allow us to take that position. The copies of statement are available for distribution. You can take the hard copies and soft yes. copies from Doi, uh, Prince Doi here, please. Thank you so much. Um, this is the end of our briefing, and I will invite each and every one of you to go to the buffet table there and partake of some snacks and some drinks that we prepared for us. Thank you so much. We can allow the, the family to do. Well, uh, all of us can have uh, some food. That's it. More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.